Hello, today is Tuesday the 17th of March. Excuse my face, no makeup, been crying a lot, been awake most of the night, so yeah. Um, yesterday Boris Johnson announced the next stage for trying to um, stop the spread of coronavirus and that is for anyone who is vulnerable they need to isolate for 12 weeks. Um, uh, so older people and people with underlying health conditions um everything's kind of been shut um everything's been stopped Edie and i both have underlying health conditions well Edie has asthma i have asthma i have other things but the asthma is the thing that makes us susceptible and vulnerable to this virus although we're very low risk it's obviously not just about the danger to us but it's about passing it on so we're facing, as many other people in the country and in the world, around the world, because it's not just this country, we're facing quite a period of weeks of being in the house, being isolated. I thought what I could do is I'm going to try and upload a couple of times a week. I was thinking I could do something every day. That's ridiculous. Why would I commit to that? Because we all know what you have to do is look at my upload history and see that I've only posted once in the last year to know that that's not going to happen. Um, but I'm going to try and keep editing minimal because the editing is what I find difficult. I don't find it difficult, but I'm very self-critical. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't like call someone a or something. Really raw. Um, I'm going to do like a few videos. Where I could do some videos with Edie, something with Dexter. I might do some music things. I don't know because I thought we're all going to be really fucking bored. Gives me something to do, gives me something to focus on, it gives me people to interact with, so please talk to me. It's a really difficult thing to deal with for anyone, everything. Very few people in the country, um, in the again in the world, have faced anything like this before. Um, not very few, but it's it's rare, you know, it's it's a first for most of us, let's be honest. So we need to find ways of dealing with it. Um it's especially hard when you have mental health conditions around depression and anxiety. It's hard. And OCD as well. Um, you know, with germs and stuff, that's great. Um, so I just thought, you know, these videos are for me as much as much for anyone else. If anyone finds them nice and helpful, you know, it's something to not look forward to. That sounds like I'm really bigging myself up, but it's something to focus on sometimes at this time when everyone's schedule has been basically thrown down the shitter it's nice having something kind of routine and something that you recognize and you know um that's it's kind of what i'm thinking and there's just a mix of things really i know that i said that i was going to upload more in february but i got ill then Eda got ill then i got ill again then Eda got ill again um all different illnesses but it was just, you know, too difficult to upload. Spring, summer, or spring and early summer is thrown out the window. And what's really difficult is Edie's birthday is in a few weeks. It's something that I'm really struggling with because Edie's birthday is in a few weeks. She's going to be two. Um, she's actually two on Easter Monday. Everything that I had planned. Let me give you a little brief. I did mention this on Instagram. Birthdays have always been something that, um, from when I was, like, young, to me it was a day where a day for the most part where I got a bit of a break from the bullying and the abuse that I was getting um, from everyone, <laughs> uh, you know, from school and outside school, like clubs and stuff. I had a really shitty time with that. And your birthday people kind of, they're not nice to you, but sometimes they, you know, for the most part, they give you a break. So to me, birthdays is always like that thing where, but you know that you're not gonna get any shit. And then the fact, and also the fact that Edie's dad and um, some of Edie's dad's family don't really make much of an effort with her. I feel I have to overcompensate. I've, it's like that with Christmas as well. Um, I feel I have to overcompensate and I do lots for her. So this year we were going to uh, the Sea Life Centre in Birmingham. It's not shut at the moment, but even if it's not shut, it's not it's not safe for us to go. It's not wise for us to go. So we um, we won't be going. We will be going when things have calmed down. But it's not just we can't do that. It's that like we can't do anything. So like on her birthday, what am we going to do? I'm hoping that the weather's nice. We'll be able to go out to the park or something. And also half of the presents that I was going to get for her. Or like not half of them, but a fair few of the presents that I really wanted to get for her. 
the places have shut so the shops have shut down like temporarily so i can't get the presents that i wanted to get her um so again she can get them like later on but that's not really your birthday is it uh, we were also supposed to be going on holiday next week not abroad we were going to center parks and again i mentioned this did i mention this on instagram i can't remember if i mentioned this but <clears throat> i've been having a really tough time physically and mentally recently and I just needed, I really, really, it's the only holiday that, you know, we're having this year. I really need that time to take a breath, to reset everything. I'm gutted about that, but again, hopefully we can rebook for, like, early summer, hopefully. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make some videos. That's what I wanted to say. I've now been talking for, like, eight minutes about something that was going to be two minutes i will see you all in a few days maybe tomorrow i don't know i don't even know when i'm when i'm uploading this um but yeah it, and, and by the way the videos might prop might literally just be two minutes of shit uh, not actual shit but like just something completely random if i think oh this might bring a smile to someone or just you know i can't be bothered to do much but oh, i'll do this you know it might just be really really short and really random <laughs> But that's kind of, that's what I'm doing. If you don't want to watch, that's fine. But if you, have any, if you have any questions or comments or anything for me, then let me know. If you've got any suggestions for videos, let me know. That'd be great. Um, so yeah, I will see you all soon. And please all keep safe. Don't be selfish vultures because I've encountered quite a few of those the last few days. Don't be wankers. Stay inside and um, wash your hands. Do all that crap. Thank you. Bye. No, that's a stupid thing to say.